Hello everybody, this is Rob here from robcabin.com and I'm going to show you how to create an interactive PDF that can be sold as a premium ebook like my House Get Clients ebook here. Now in this ebook we have a contents page with the chapters that link through to the relevant chapter. And if you click on the contents page button that's on every page, that takes you back to the contents page. You can navigate around the PDF by clicking on the chapter title. And you can add these links anywhere within the book. So in this chapter here, I refer to an earlier chapter and have set that up as a link internally in the PDF and you click on it and you can go to that page. Also within the document, there are your normal hyperlinks that if you click, they will open a browser window and take you to a web page. So here is the document in InDesign CS5 and I'm going to show you how I do those internal links first of all. Now the first thing you have to do in order to make an internal link is to create a text anchor. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm going to put another chapter on the end here to show you how it's done. So I've gone to the last page in the document and I'm going to write the pretend title for the new chapter and put some copy in there. Now, in order to make this page a text anchor, we select this text. We don't have to, we can just put the cursor there, but I like to select the title of the chapter and then in the hyperlinks palette you go here and create new hyperlinks destination. You can also right click interactive new hyperlink destination, either do the same thing. Um, but as I have that text highlighted, that's the name that InDesign gives to the text anchor, which is quite helpful. Because when you go back to the contents page, and let's write the new chapter. Extra, I can't. I call it new extra. Well, it doesn't matter. And you highlight that, and you need to create that as a link internally in the PDF. You click on this button, create new hyperlink. Do new hyperlink there as well. You choose text anchor, and then you choose the new text anchor that we created. New extra chapter. Also. I have a style for internal link and you click OK and then when we export the PDF that will link to that chapter and so here is the PDF I've just made with that new extra chapter link there and if you click on it it goes to the extra chapter page that we created. If you show the hidden characters actually you can see the text anchor that is these sort of colon type invisible and that means that this text anchor here is on contents. If I show you the master page you'll see that there's a button over this button and that is, if I show you in the buttons palette, that has a go to destination and it has the contents selected as the text anchor it goes to when you click on it. So in order to create that button all you do is just draw a regular rectangle. Let's make it with no fill and no stroke. And then if you right click on it, go to interactive, you can convert that to a button. Default event is on release. This is the best one to do because that means if after you've clicked it the action will take place. So on release you add an action and you go to destination and then you, choo you choose your destination from the text anchors, which in this case is contents. The running page number is very easy, you just get a text box and you do command shift option N or type insert special character markers current page number and that will give you the running page number. The logo on the other side, if I zoom in there I can show you that this box is an imported 
EPS or Illustrator logo of my logo. And on top of it, I put the button. If I made the actual logo itself a button, I noticed that increased the file size of the resulting PDF. So all I did to create that button was to draw another rectangle, right click and interactive convert to button, and then in the button palette, I again on release, you choose go to URL, and then you can type in the URL that you want it to go to, and that is now a link to that web page. That's the master page, and it appears on every page like that. Okay, you're happy with the document and you want to save it, all you do is file export or command control E, choose Adobe PDF Interactive, save. Now, when you're exporting to PDF, um, you can put the resolution at 72 or a bit higher to make the images look nicer on a large screen. I find it's best to do the security now. So put a password in and choose no changes allowed. Now the reason I do that is there's a little bug in the Mac version of InDesign and there has been for the last two versions where you get a message saying you've got to fill out a form or something on the resulting PDF so we don't want that. So if you press OK you have to re-enter the password and then export the PDF. And here is the PDF again. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.